Hi there, Doug Stewart with IT Creations with another custom gaming rig. This one is outfitted with the AMD Ryzen 9 5950X processor and includes the latest components from Corsair, Asus, and Gigabyte. In this case, pardon the pun, we are placing that AMD Ryzen 9 Ultra processor on an Asus X570 Pro Prime motherboard along with a Gigabyte 3080 GPU. All that going into the Corsair IQ7000X RGB case. Shall we take a look? So the same processor we used last time, and I think the same GPU, well, actually we used an MSI GPU. So what's different? I'll tell you what's different. Corsair's new IQ7000X RGB tempered full glass tower ATX PC gaming case that allows us to mount that gigabyte GeForce RTX 3080 10 gigabyte OC video card vertically for maximum exposure. We also have a cool new cooler from Corsair that matches the arctic white exterior of the chassis. It has three fans and plenty of RGB LED lighting effects so you can be bathed in pulsating colors as you crush your pixel generated adversaries. I think Conan the Barbarian said it best when asked, what is best in life? To crush your enemies. See them driven before you and they hear the lamentation of the women. This might not be the steel blade that helped him do just that, but make no mistake, this will help you crush your gaming foes. First, let's take a look at that killer case. In the world of gaming, some like to go small. This build, on the other hand, goes big with a full-size 70-liter case with not one but three tempered glass panels on the front, left side panel, and the top. There's also room for up to three 360 millimeter or two 420 millimeter radiators for CPU coolers, plus the three 140 millimeter fans pulling fresh air over the cooling fins. We only need one for our AMD processor. We'll also fit those puny little 120 millimeter to 240 millimeter radiators, but why go small when you can go big? You could even squeeze in a 480 millimeter radiator in there, but only one of those. The case is also compatible with all of Corsair's other liquid coolers, but that's not really a surprise because Corsair supports their offspring. The case will also fit up to six 3.5 inch drives and three 2.5 inch drives. Are you concerned you won't get any M.2 drives? Don't worry. We haven't even begun talking about the Asus Prime X570 Pro motherboard yet. Did you know that IT Creations is a custom configurator of AMD processors and products? We also partner with NVIDIA, Corsair, and Gigabyte, so we can build that custom gaming rig, and then some. We can even outfit your graphics animation staff with the latest hardware that can help you bring your new gaming experience or blockbuster movie CGI creations to the real world. We even offer rentals. Need, want, or desire? IT Creations has your back for gaming or development. Let's get back to the guts of this system and then follow it up with some benchmarks. The IQ7000X does a great job of hiding the cabling for the components behind the motherboard with tiebacks ensuring it looks as good from the back as well as from the front. Clear tempered glass panels front, top and side help project all those RGB lighting effects throughout your gaming space. It has a few dust filters front, top and bottom so no infiltration by dust bunnies. Or at least not too much. Probably not something you're going to leave on in your bedroom. The case comes with four 1200 RPM fans with integrated programmable RGB LED lights controlled by the IQ Commander Core. You can purchase more fans if need be. 120 millimeter fans can be installed behind the left side panel, which has no tempered glass panel, but does have an extra panel under the panel. Kind of like a donut hole within a donut hole. Did you see that movie? A donut hole in a donut's hole. But we must look a little closer. And when we do, we see the donut hole has a hole in its center. No? <laughs> okay, never mind. Anyways, behind that other interior panel is where all the cabling goes and where you could mount three 2.5 inch HDDs or SSDs. You can also see the locations for two 3.5 inch drive cages in the lower portion of the chassis, each of which can support three drives. This chassis is very flexible and those 2.5 inch drive cages can be mounted on the other side on top of the PSU shroud. Clearly there is a lot of room in this case and it will fit a standard size power source like the Seasonic Focus GX1000, delivering 1000 watts of 80 plus gold subatomic charged particles. It also delivers nearly silent operation with a fanless mode with the push of a button. Standard operation will reduce fan speed if the power draw is less than 30%, so you might not even want to activate silent mode. There are also plenty of connections for cables and different cable types on that PSU. The control module for the fans and RGB lighting effects is also located in back, just above those three 2.5 inch drive cages. The IQ Commander Core includes a few extra ports for connecting more fans or RGB lighting strips. 
Another IQ Commander Core is included with the IQ H150i Elite Capilex Liquid CPU Cooler, also providing more ports to connect additional fans or lighting strips. We have the Arctic White version to match your case, but you can get it in black too. The Capilex Liquid CPU Cooler has high density cooling fins and up to 33 ultra bright LEDs. Not only will it work with the AMD 5950X processor, but also Intel CPUs too. It also produces more light, less heat, and uses less power. Each of the three fans included with the kit has eight RGB LEDs and magnetic levitation bearings for silent operation. The centrifugal pump is whisper quiet, producing less than 20 decibels with a flow rate of close to a liter per minute. The IQ software allows you to control all those RGB LEDs plus the fan and pump speed for maximum control and visual effects. Not to mention enabling you to synchronize the lighting with other Corsair products like the IQ 7000X case. For this implementation, we have a 360 millimeter radiator with three ML120 fans. Best of all, this system is modular and easy to install without any tools. Can't say that for my IKEA furniture. The included IQ software for controlling all the elements you plug into the Commander Core has a very pleasing graphic interface, providing a colorful rendition of fan and pump speeds, plus options for the RGB lighting effects. Just that will provide hours of fun changing the lighting to suit your mood or the action in your gaming experience. And now we get to the crucial ballistics RGB DDR4 3200 MHz gaming memory. We're installing white modules, again to match our case, but these are available in red and black too. The white blocks on the sides are actually anodized aluminum to help with heat dissipation. These are U-DIM modules, or in other words, unbuffered. You get more speed than what you might experience, but would probably never know you're experiencing, with ECC memory modules, which offer error correcting code. I mean, 3200 MHz is fast as Heck, we're good here with two sets of modules totaling 32 gigabytes of memory, but the ASUS board will support up to 128 gigabytes. The AMD Ryzen 5950X offers hexadeca cores. And if you don't speak Greek or Latin, it means 16 physical cores, but also 32 threads and only sipping a maximum of 105 watts from that 1000 watt PSU. This processor operates at a base frequency of 3.4 gigahertz and a maximum boost clock speed of up to 4.9 gigahertz. With these specs, the processor is truly overkill for a gaming system and would be an exceptional option for developers and creative professionals. <laughs> Whatever. The CPU supports DDR4 memory modules, but only up to 3200 MHz, while our Asus Prime X570 Pro motherboard is future ready for DDR4 modules up to 4400 MHz. Asus X570 Pro supports PCI 4.0, but some of our components are really not using all those lanes to their full capacity in order to keep costs down. The Gigabyte RTX 3080 Gaming OC 10 gig Rev 2.0 GPU does support PCIe 4.0. The Corsair MP600 Pro 1TB M.2, however, is NVMe PCI 4.0 compatible and provides a sequential read of 7,000 megabits per second and a sequential write of 6,850 megabits per second. It also comes with its own heatsink. And there are two M.2 mounts on this system board, one with a heatsink, little shiny bit over there, and one without. I think you can guess where this little gem is going. A number of VR headsets are supported on this motherboard, including Windows Mixed Reality Premium head-mounted displays like the Samsung HMD Odyssey Plus and HP Reverb, and then of course Oculus Rift and HTC Vive. Ports on the back of the Asus Prime X570 Pro board include two USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports, four 3.2 Gen 2 ports, with a display port and HDMI port squeezed in between. Then you have a one gigabit per second LAN port, more USB ports, and eight channel audio. Depending on what processor you install and how you configure the system, only certain PCIe slots are available, and again, PCI 4.0. With the AMD Ryzen 5950X series processors, we have two PCI 4.0 by 16 slots. Four more PCI slots are powered by the chipset and include a by 16 slot with a by four electrical lane, and a trio of by four slots with a by one electrical lane. This board will also support NVIDIA's NVLink and AMD's Crossfire technology for combining GPUs for enhanced performance. But this technology seems to be going the way of the Dodo Bird. However, there are quite a few utilities that come with the Asus Prime X570 Pro to ensure you get the most out of your system, including Armory Crate for centralized account management, plus management of the lighting effects. Clearly this Gigabyte RTX 3080 OC 10 gig GPU is fast, like lightning fast. We tested it with a 3D Mark application and it produced a graphic score of 16,804 and specifically with Time Spy, a score of 16,182. And that was at full 4K with 95 to 110 frames per second. With Battlefield 5, 
The application says it would be fine with a frame rate of 155 frames per second at 1440p. Ultra settings. So we may lose some frames by indulging our gigantic Samsung Odyssey G9 display, but I think we're good. I want one of these. The Samsung Odyssey G9 monitor has a one millisecond response time and a refresh rate of 240 hertz with a 5120 by 1440p dual quad HD display. It has a 32 by nine aspect ratio. The Gigabyte RTX 3080 OC for overclocking, 10 gig gaming card is a fatty, just like the IQ case. If you were to mount this baby right into the PCI slots, it would be not just double wide, but triple wide, potentially blocking another one of the limited PCI slots. It comes with a three-year warranty, which you can upgrade to a four-year manufacturer warranty just by registering the product on the Gigabyte site. There are three fans on this card, which will go idle if the system resources are not under load. I know what you're thinking. How many monitors can we add to this GPU? Well, it comes with two HDMI 2.1 ports, three DisplayPort 1.4a, and will support up to four monitors running simultaneously. Yes, it has an integrated RGB LED light right at the logo where the power cord connections are. That RGB light can be controlled by the RGB Fusion software. At 1800 MHz overclock, it has a small dual BIOS switch to disable overclock on the card to transition to silent mode and shut off the fans. Default mode is overclocking, and why wouldn't it be? This is the OC card. At 4K, you will notice a significant difference and benefit from the Deep Learning Super Sampling, or DLSS, with improved frame rates and general image quality. With those three large fans, this card does run cool and will eke out a few more frames per second compared to the Founders Edition, but not anything you would actually notice. Still, this card looks sick and is a worthy addition to any gaming platform. We're gonna run some benchmarks for both the CPU and GPU, but to be honest, there are plenty of sites on the internet that go deep. Did you see Dodgeball with Ben Stiller and Vince Vaughn? <laughs> Never mind. Anyways, here are a few glamour shots of our build, which we threw together with some Samsung monitors and a cool gaming mouse from Oris. Whoa! <laughs> we also added an RGB mechanical keyboard. <laughs> and this is where you get to play with the RGB controls and settings through the various applications to ensure you get not only the most out of all of this super hardware from AMD, Corsair, Gigabyte, Asus, Oris, and Crucial, but also the cool lighting effects. We have spectacular results with the AMD Ryzen 5950X CPU on Cinebench. It did offer slightly better performance than the Intel Xeon W3265M CPU with 24 cores and an MSRP of about $6,000, with Core i7 and i9 CPU scores below that. The AMD 5950X is around one eighth the price and had a score of 24,493 points compared to a score of 24,263, which is 230 points more than the W3265M. The processor that did trounce the CPU was the AMD Ryzen Threadripper 2990WX with 32 cores and a score of 30,054 points. Also about two times more expensive. In a nutshell. On a side note, when we tested the 64-core 3990WX in the Lenovo ThinkStation P620, it only had a score of 22,757. So more cores does not necessarily translate to better performance for certain applications, like gaming. The AMD Ryzen 5950X offers outstanding performance and at a great price. If you like what you see, hit that button and subscribe to our channel and leave a comment below. If you like this build, contact us by email or give us a call. I would put pricing information up for this build, but it never ages well. Not to mention that whole GPU shortage thing really put the kibosh on pricing information. But I digress. And remember, IT Creations is a partner with NVIDIA, AMD, Corsair, Gigabyte, and a bunch of other manufacturers, so we can get some deals and pass that goodness on to you. Until next time, I'm Doug Stuman with IT Creations, and thanks for watching.